this week, I've got something really cool to share with you. A few weeks ago, I was doing some painting and lamp repair at a funeral home. In the front of this business was a large sign with the name of the funeral home. But beneath this sign were two heavy metal decorative pieces. They were very loose and about to fall off. Very dangerous. If they would have fallen, they could have killed someone. Which makes me wonder if it was their way of drumming up business. <laughs> anyway, the owner asked if I could remove them. I told her I'd be happy to remove them at no charge if I could keep what I took down. And she agreed. What was her junk was about to become something really cool. Welcome to Alley Picked. For the best results, all the paint needs to come off. I first tried paint remover, which surprisingly didn't work very well. I tried a wire brush. I tried a wire wheel on a drill. But the most effective was a razor knife followed by buffing with a wire wheel on a bench grinder. It took me a couple of hours, but the outcome was spectacular. A little paint thinner to clean up residue, dirt, and debris, then a good metal primer. For the paint, I'll use black oil-based brush-on. It's much thicker than spray paint, so it's going to provide a much better finish. For the top, I'll use this thick piece of solid mahogany. I found it in the basement at an estate sale. I paid 25 bucks for it. I just couldn't pass it up. I knew it would be useful one day, and today is that day. After some careful measuring, I'll use this router to make a groove to secure the two metal support legs. This is a nice snug fit but they're still gonna need more support so the legs don't snap off. For that, I'll make two braces to go in between. Now I can secure the legs with screws on both ends. Now for a final sanding before applying the finish. After sanding, I like to blow all the dust off with an air compressor. Just look at the difference as the sawdust flies out of the grain. For the first coat, I'm using a sanding sealer or unwaxed shellac. This fills the open grain. I follow this up with a light sanding using some 320 grit sandpaper. And now I'll clean off all that dust using a little paint thinner on a rag. Followed by two coats of polyurethane. This end table was a really fun project. One of those that I wasn't sure how it was gonna end up, but I'm very pleased with the outcome. What started as some scrap metal from a funeral home sign ended up as a beautiful one-of-a-kind end table. A very heavy and sturdy end table. This thing weighs almost 34 pounds. If there was ever an earthquake, I think I'd try to get my small frame beneath this thing. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley or at an estate sale or maybe even a funeral home or, well, any place that has junk, really.